Hello developers, Daniel from Opera here again, and this is the second of two videos helping you develop mobile extensions. In the first video, we looked at opening and testing mobile extensions using the Opera mobile emulator. We're going to expand on that this time, uh, looking at how to debug any errors you might have. And for that, we're going to use Opera Dragonfly's ultra cool remote debugging feature. I'm going to use the same extension I used in the last video, and that's the HNPC extension. Only this time, I've made a small change in the injected script. I've added these lines, which should add the viewport meta tag to every Hacker News page. For desktop, it won't make any difference, but for mobile, it should automatically zoom the page in so that it's much clearer to read on a small screen. We'll hopefully see that in action. So to do that, I need to go to the Opera Mobile emulator. As you can see, I've got a Hacker News page open here and the text is indeed very small. So let's try and install the extension. The menu, extensions, install that extension. And as I mentioned in the previous video, it's much better to go for the config.xml file when you're developing the extension. That's installed. So if I reload this page, hopefully it should automatically zoom in and the text will be much larger. <gasps> oh no, it doesn't work. Looks like something's wrong. Uh, you're probably screaming at me, telling me what the obvious error on the screen is. But I'm going to play blind and we're going to use Opera Dragonfly to try and find it. So we need to fire up Opera Dragonfly. Let's go to the browser, the Opera browser. And the quickest way, I think, to start it up is to click a right click on anywhere on the page and go for Inspect Element. OK, this is for debugging this page, but we want the remote debugger to connect to Opera Mobile. So the remote, I oh, beg your pardon, the remote debugger icon is here. We click Apply, and that's listening on port 7001, which is the default port for a connection from Opera Mobile, either the emulator or indeed from Opera Mobile on your phone or tablet. Let's go to the mobile emulator and now we're going to open a new tab here and go to Opera Debug so that we can connect to Dragonfly. Okay, the port number is the same. The IP address in this case 127.0.0.1 because it's the local machine. Click Connect. And as you can see, that's now connected in the background. Perfect. The next thing is to open our extension within the debugger. There are actually two parts to this. One is the extension's background script and things like that. Another one is the extension that is running within web pages. In other words, injected script. First of all, let's open the extension's background here. It's HNPC open that and we're looking for a JavaScript problem so we'll reload the scripts and look for errors. No errors, which means the problem is probably within the injected script. To debug that we need to open the web page that contains the injected script. In this case it's Hacker News, so let's open that and reload the scripts. And as you can see here, straight away it's given us this error. It's automatically stopped at this point because I've got this option checked. Show pass errors and break on exceptions. If we didn't have that checked, then let's try reloading the page from the, uh, the mobile emulator. Reload. OK. The script actually completes executing, but over here we see a number of errors in the error tag, error tab. And here we are, uncalled exception, document.head.append is not a function. That's at line 16, so let's go to the file and look. Line 16, and you probably spotted this at the beginning, it should be append child, not append. So we fix that. It's an injected script, so we don't actually need to reload the extension. Instead, we'll just reload the Hacker News page. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. The extension works, and it looks very good on a mobile phone. 
So there we go. That's how to debug with Opera Dragonfly and remote debugging. As I said, it's not just um, for the mobile emulator, it's also for Opera Mobile on your phone or tablet, as long as it's on the same Wi-Fi network. Incidentally, it's not just for extensions either. You can debug your mobile web pages using the remote debugger, de debugging feature as well. If you have any questions, as always, head over to dev.opera.com where we have extensive documentation. Thank you for watching.